the stealing of motorbikes and assault are the leading crimes at Dayasu, which was once an illegal mining hub in the central region. Police attribute the trend to the absence of economic activity due to the ban on Galamse. Mahmoud Mohammed Nuruddin reports, though recorded cases of armed robbery are declining, Okada operators are now the main targets in the area. In every mining area, you get a lot of people from various places. Here is Upper Dempster West. But you have Burkina Bays, you have Togolese, different tribes here. Abraham Donko has lost three motorbikes to robbery at gunpoint in three months. One of them happened in the bush. The two other motorbikes were stolen in the house. If we get hold of any criminals, we would lynch them. Many other Galamsiers who have now turned Okada operators have had their share of attacks. Someone can even hire your service, but they would attack you at a gunpoint. You can even buy a motorbike and pack it in your room, and they will still steal it. They operate from this point to various destinations to fend for themselves amid worrying spate of gunpoint robbery. They can even call for your service. As soon as you get there, they will take you to the bush and give you two options, your motorbike or your life. District Police Commander DSP Ose Eduajiman says police are overwhelmed by the trend despite tireless efforts to maintain law and order. You see, if the police is closer, if the proximity is there, people will always resort to the rule of law. Because from here, the next, from here to Nkranza is about 22 kilometers. And the main mode of transport will be motorbike. So assuming somebody assaults you, how do you travel from Nkwansa to Diazu here and make a report? But Subin is very close to Nkwansa. So sometimes if the police is very close, yes, I will resort to the rule of law. But when I find that, no, resorting to the rule of law is going to cause inconvenience and other things, I may decide to take the law into my, into my own hands. 